I wanted to take a minute to do another Life Path 11 video. I did a brief one yesterday. It was almost a response video. It wasn't given the same attention as the others. Now, forgive me. I'm not a Life Path number creator, meaning I didn't create that system. I don't even know how many Life Paths there are. Um, so I assumed it was just one through nine since that is the basic foundation of numerology. But it appears there are many 11s. So I want to give you guys the same attention that I've given to others. And I also wanted to come from a more loving place. Okay. Because in the previous 11 video I did, I was angry at an 11. Okay. <laughs> so forgive me for that. And I want to, I want to do this properly. Let's get into it. Now, when it comes to Life Path 11, you guys are my free spirits, okay? So the focus here is going to be experiencing. The focus here is going to be interacting, hence one and one. One being, another being. Visualize that, feel that, okay? Interaction. We also have learning, okay? Learning as it relates specifically to the development of a mindset, of a worldview, of a belief system, okay? And also connecting. So we have experiencing, interacting, learning, and connecting. That is the focus for 11. Now, I'm going to list some traits as well as some shadow traits, right? You might not be fully aware of um, because it is okay to have dichotomous aspects of oneself. So that's actually the nature of us, right? We all have shadow traits. We all have more prominent persona traits. So let's share them. Now, when it comes to my 11s, you guys are incredibly eager to learn. But there is also a tendency to be easily distracted. Okay. You are people who love new things. But because of this, there's also a tendency to be non-committal. You are incredibly open-minded. But there's also a tendency to be rigid when you want to be. You are unique. But there's also a tendency to be easily influenced by others, especially people you care about. My 11s are also very communicative, right? Interpersonally communicative. But there's also a tendency to isolate and, and kind of shut down at times. Now, you can also be very detached and independent, hence the free spirit concept. But you also have a tendency to be codependent and a little bit needy. There is a tendency to be incredibly carefree, but also a tendency to be a bit anxious, right, as it relates to that. Um, just some things to be mindful of. Some tips for my 11s. Always be you. In addition to that, make sure that you trust the journey. Everything you endure, everything you experience has a purpose, has a reason, okay? Everything is a lesson. Everything has value, even if it hurts. And I also need my 11s to know that spontaneity is a soul value. It is very important to the well-being of the soul, right? The soul doesn't like repetition. The soul doesn't like doing the same monotonous things over and over and over again. So it is very important to keep your spontaneity, to remain carefree, to remain free-spirited as you are. But responsibility and commitment are vital aspects of this reality. So you do need to learn to settle down a little bit, commit to things, um, and just settle in life, period. Okay? And my 11s. I also need you to remember not to take distance from others personally. Because love can still come from afar. Not everyone is as interested in interconnectedness as you. Or as interested in being around others all the time as you are, okay? Don't take that personally. It does not mean they don't love you, okay? Oftentimes it just means they're preoccupied with their own things, okay? Also, I need you to not let people take advantage of you. Real love is not transactional, okay? The people who are meant to be in your life are going to love you for you. Okay, and it's not about what you can do or give to them. And my 11s, some of you are already working on this. Hence, the tendency to be a little bit detached and independent and carefree and do your own thing. But 
there can also be a discomfort that comes with that, okay? So what I need you to do is start working on and getting comfortable being alone. That is true individual power, okay? Stepping into your own power as you by yourself, just you. <laughs> um, it's important that you're comfortable and truly enjoy your own presence, okay? And last but not least, my loves, your experiences are meant to guide your soul. This is what's going to teach you. This is what's going to help you develop your own worldview, how you want to see things, what you want to believe in. Okay, that's two energy. That's the total of the sequence, one and one. Don't let others force their beliefs on you. Only attach yourself to what you find valuable, meaningful, and what you want to believe. All right, take care.